Hey guys, welcome to a new video from NZ Pocket Guide. Today we are joined by a true local. His name is Tala Uta. He's living in the small town of Tokoroa, which is right in the center of the northern and he's going to tell us everything about what he loves about life in New Zealand, giving us a bit of uh, a few local tips and talk to us about rugby because he's a referee and rugby is kind of a religion here in New Zealand. All right, Tala Uta, uh, tell us a little bit about you. Who are you? What do you do for a living? What are the passions? E te whānau. Ko e kishun Tala Uta toko ingoa. I live in the North Island, a little town called Tokoro. I'm a builder from Mondays to Fridays, and I'm a rugby league referee during Saturdays and Sundays. Nice. So you've been living in New Zealand all your life, right? Yes, for the past 22 years. Wow. So what do you like the most about life in New Zealand? What sets New Zealand apart? Hey, uh, learning Māori language every day from schools from out of town and helping out at the local marae doing hangis and all of that. So uh, marae is, uh, just for um, if some people don't know what it is, marae is, uh, is a Māori meeting house. Um, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but there, there, there is one, uh, at least one in every single village. And this is where everybody used to gather and, and actually still gather nowadays for special events as well as for uh, evening and meeting with the elders. Is that correct? Yeah. Nice. Okay. So um, do you have any local tips for, uh, for, for people traveling around the north end of New Zealand? What are the places that you, you think they absolutely have to check out? I will actually think of checking out the local marae here in town. The marae's name is Papa Ote Oraha. And you're going to basically check out all our um, talking poles here in town. It's basically in one area. We just got an area that got just finished got built not long ago. Nice. So um, the talking poles are basically massive carvings that uh, you, you pretty much can't miss when you drive through the town of Tokoroa. And uh, do you know when they've been carved? It's been carved different years. I think oh, yeah. it was some of them has been made before I was born. Oh, wow. Okay, cool. Nice. So um, let's dive in, right into rugby uh, because I know you're a referee. You spent uh, you spent most of your um, rugby season going to the town of Rotorua to do some refereeing. Um, so tell us a little bit about rugby in New Zealand. Why is it so popular? What is it about rugby? I don't know. Some, a lot of people like sports, like different kind of sports. Some of them like rugby. Some of them like rugby league. And it's actually pretty good after I learned about three months of learning refereeing and I decided to join her because my mate got me into um, rugby league. Nice. So um, do you go watch uh, games live? Do you go, often go to stadiums and actually be a spectator? Sometimes, but not all the time. I'm just a spare referee when there's no other referees around okay. and I know which game that I have to do. Did you ever uh, watch the All Blacks play live? I've seen that on TV, but not in person. No? Because it's kind of an event. I mean, like, I feel like the entire town, even where we live right here, the entire town is uh, is uh, black and white uh, all over as soon as the All, Black are play the All Blacks are playing. Yeah, there's a lot of different teams that has black and white shirts like that because we've got some of that has yellow and a bit of brownish and, or bronze or something like that. So um, if you are just, you know, if you were just a tourist traveling around New Zealand, uh, what would be the best place to experience like the true New Zealand rugby experience to get that real, uh, real kind of local rugby feel? If they're coming down, uh, it would be better to see it in um, the training. I don't know where that would be, but it would be anywhere around the country. And oh, yeah. then you can ask them if you want to join with them and then you can play against other teams around the North Island. Did you ever play with that? Oh, sorry. Uh, you cut out for a second. Oh, sorry. Did you uh, did you ever play with some foreigners um, against you? No. No. Because I, I have to I have to share games. one of my experience playing rugby uh, uh, before and. Uh, 
Uh, I, I joined a, a group of, of Maori that were actually playing rugby. Uh, they, were, they were playing touch on the beach. And I have to say, it's much rougher than any of my other experiences, uh, uh, you know, playing rugby. So it's a different style of uh, rugby. Did you have fun with that? I did have fun. I also got a couple of bruises, but I definitely did have fun. That's the main thing. As long as you have fun with, with the locals around New Zealand. So uh, if uh, if you are traveling in New Zealand and the All Blacks are playing, where are the best place to actually experience uh, you know that if you can't get a ticket for the actual game? The best place to see if the All Blacks is over in um, Eden Eden Park over in Tamaki Makaurau, yep. which is Auckland. Yep. So they'd be, and then you got another stadium. I can't remember the name down in Wellington, so they'll be up and down the country most of the time. Is it Mount Smart Stadium in Wellington, maybe? I think so. I can't remember. I think it's there. It's Westpac Stadium, Mount Smart. I'm not 100% sure, but yeah. All right, so... Um... Let's talk. Uh, let's talk a little bit about uh, extra tips for people traveling around New Zealand. What do you have for uh, for people for tourists coming around the country? What do you think they should do? What do you think they should be aware of? Um, give us a little bit of your take on that. I would say uh, plan your your trip ahead, like at least a month or a year ahead of your departure to New Zealand, so you know what you're coming to look around in New Zealand over in the North Island yeah but there's a lot of sceneries around in the North Island to see yeah there's really Even a ton there's too many little speed stops along the way as well yeah yeah um Okay, um, so l uh, lastly, just to round it up, I know that you have a, a kinship for the little uh, island of Nui, which is in the South Pacific. And we do really like it as well. In fact, we do have a travel guide for Nui called uh, Nui Pocket Guide, which I'll link in the description of this video. And what do you like so much about Nui? And why did, why did uh, like a, a small island of like 2,000 people attract you to travel there at least twice? Because they, um, what do you call it? Nui is a different kind of island because it's a coral and it's that's why it's called the rock of P polynesia even though they got different kind of accents than like for example fiji cook island and all that kind of island they got a different kind of way of speaking the language but it's similar like speaking maori okay and then there's a lot of sightseeing they ran your way nice Cool. Yeah, no, I, I think it's a fantastic place. It's just, it's very rare to actually find people which actually know or, or love Nui as much as we do. So it's, it's just fantastic. All right. So is there any extra tips that you want to give people or should we just uh, wrap it up together right now? There's none that I can think of. <laughs> all right. Well, thank you very much for sharing your time and all your insights about the New Zealand North Island and even the little island of Nui and telling us all about rugby in New Zealand. Uh, we've got plenty of information on the channel um, about all of those things and even more. So if you guys want to like and subscribe to the video, it's always a good help. Uh, in the meantime, everybody stay safe, enjoy traveling in New Zealand and have an awesome day. Bye-bye.